What is up guys? Big 49 here. We're back on the Desolation map and the time is here. We're playing some PvP at the Odabs Brewery. This is a very simple game. Team Deathmatch. 4 vs 4. Red vs Blue. Every player has 3 lives. Once you run out of lives, you cannot respawn. We're playing in the Odabs Brewery. This was a fun one. We got two teams here. I'm playing on the red team, and my team is me, Ejaws, Jota Gamer, and Vanilla B. The blue team consists of Whiskram, All Hell Nah, Stormzix, and Lady Dark Rain. And this is the the start of the game, and we're gonna stick together a little bit. You can tell by our red jerseys that we are teammates. Every person starts with one TNT. Oh, we already got contact. There's Whiskram. No more Whiskram. Bye, Whiskram. <laughs> As you can see, we each start with one health potion, one TNT. Oh, here comes another one. Ooh, bye lady! <laughs> We're off to a great start right now. Two kills and I haven't even been touched yet. We're allowed to pick up enemies stuff, so you know once you kill an enemy you're gonna get their TNT, you're gonna get their health potion if they haven't used it yet. Oh man, a lot of these doors are locked and closed, so the only way to get through this place is to use TNT a lot of the time. By the end of this map, or the end of this match, this map was decimated. <laughs> this was so much fun. I. I had a lot of fun guys playing this PvP. The Odabs Brewery has proven to be a great place to go. There's a lot of inside dark places with parkour. There's a lot of open outdoor areas. There's a lot of places for you to use TNT that you can create ways to flank that weren't there before. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm up on the mash tons now. I'm doing a little parkour, trying to get at some elevated position. This main warehouse was a source of a lot of action, so I like to stay in here a little bit. Get some. Ooh, that's my teammate. Okay. Oh. Explosion! Where'd that explosion come from? Someone was exploding something. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright. So, Ejaws is the shark. Let me try to tell you. Uh, Danilo B is the jester. Whiskram is the chef. Whiskram is always the chef. <laughs> Just so you know their, uh, their, their uh, skins. Who am I missing? Uh, oh, hell no, was the red guy. I don't know what his skin is. Lady is lady as always. She's got the red hair. You know lady's skin. Stormzix, what skin is Stormzix? I'm not sure what Stormzix skin is. I, mean, I know what it looks like. Um, Droden is a military guy. And I'm Bean. I'm in the tuxedo, as always. Alright, so a little, a little quiet here. You were allowed to go onto the sidewalk, but you couldn't go further than that. So you were supposed to stay on the sidewalk. That was the boundary of the of the map. So you could go around the Odabs Brewery, and you could flank that way, but I didn't want players going like too far afield because I wanted the Odabs to be the, the place where we do the killing. You know what I mean? So all quiet on this fl western front here. I haven't been shot at yet. I haven't lost a heart yet. Uh-oh. That's my teammate going down. Vanilla B. <laughs> Formerly known as Mr. Brownbox. He changed his gamer tag. Personally, I prefer Mr. Brownbox, so I'm going to still call him that from now on and from always. He's always Brownbox to me. And never mind the literal meaning of that. <laughs> oh! That's all hell no. Actually, no. Yeah, that is all hell no. He's in the blue skin. Okay. When he was on the blue team, he was in the blue skin. That makes sense. He's got his little party hat on. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's one hit. Oh, dirty! Plucked him out of the air. Oh, there's one on the roof. That's Stormzix. He's in his little commando outfit. Oh, I'm getting hit. Stormzix. No, use the potion. You gotta take him out. He's moving, but I can hit him. Come on. Oh, I'm getting shot from somewhere. Oh, I got hit from behind by... Oh, hell no. But I killed Stormzix in the process. I've got two lives left. So, it was sort of a mutual kill. I got Stormzix off of the Odev sign, but I got stabbed in the back by all hell no. I can only imagine that he just respawned and ran right up to me and killed me. Uh, that's the you know the price you pay for getting in battles near the enemy spawn point. You got to be you know aware of when they're gonna be spawning because you can get sliced in the back real simple like. This is what just happened. Oh hell no! I will make you pay. <laughs> I will. Don't worry about that. Everyone pays for for slicing me from behind. In the end, they all pay. All right, now Mr. Brownbox or Vanilla B is, has taken Stormzix's place, and now we are controlling the air. <laughs> Ejaz and I, he's in the shark skin. A lot of people think that he's a dolphin. You know, he's got a lot of dolphin-like mannerisms, but he is, in fact, the shark. <laughs> or so he says. <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't like when I call him a dolphin, but I do it all the time. Just, just to get a reaction. <laughs> All right, so I'm going up here. This is a little bit dangerous. If you fall, bad things can happen to you up here. But at the same time, oh, no, no, that's that's a bad thing. Oh, goodness gracious. 
Wiscrum. Thanks, Wiscrum. Down to my last life here. We got to make this one count. I don't know if I'm helping my team. I, I got a lot of good kills, but you know, I'm not doing everything I could be. I need to. I need to get on my horse here. Not literally, but in the figurative sense. Get my things all situated. Ejaz and I will be rolling hard. <laughs> Is that a term? I don't know. Rolling together, we're gonna flank a little bit. Sometimes they, you know, they would get used to where we were spawning and be waiting for us. So we wanted to mix things up and do a little round of boots here. All right, Ejaz, lead the way. We're going into battle, friend. Yeah, I like when he's leading the charge. Makes me. It doesn't. You know, I don't have to think as much. I can just follow him, and uh, I don't get shot first, which is fine by me. <laughs> you can take the initial blast. All right, we're we're going here. Yes, here we go. I can sense them. They're, oh yes, brown box is here. Vanilla B, excuse me. I'm calling him brown box. So I don't care. All right, we're we got three of us here, doing pretty well. The thing about this game is it required communication, and my team had fabulous communication. We were using callouts. We were treating this as like we were playing Call of Duty on like a, a ranked match. You know, we were calling people out. Like right now, I'm calling out the main warehouse. I'm gonna go and hide a little bit. It's not. This is my last life, guys. I just got tagged with the power five arrow. By the way, these bows are power five. I like to play hardcore mode. So basically, you need two shots to kill somebody. And we have iron swords. So I'm gonna regen a little bit because this is my last life. And if I die, I'm out of the game. I, my teammates need me. Uh oh, see? You see? Jordan went down. That's my teammate. They need me now more than ever. So I gotta stay alive, regain some health. I know it's kind of boring for you guys to watch. Ejaz is involved in the battle. We can watch Ejaz while we regen. There's no way I was going out there. No way. No way. I, just, I wanted to get full hearts because, like I said, last life, I'm not playing around. <laughs> okay? I'm not playing around. I I can't die. No. Alright, so I'll just wait here a little bit. I am underneath the... The callout for this room was the conveyor belts. We were calling it conveyor belts because there's a bunch of conveyor belts. Easy to say. Easy to remember. Easy to know where it is. So, you know, a lot of people are struggling with the callouts because they weren't. This is a new place. This is a new brewery. Brand new. So, we're going to get these callouts down. Warehouse to my right, the main warehouse, is a main warehouse. This is the oak barrel room, or we call it the oak room. There's not too many callouts. Um, the, main, the main factory has three levels, so you can say which level of the factory. There's the, the cylinders, the, the cylinders made out of silver blocks. Uh, we call those the cylinders. So, you know, the callouts were, took some learning, but we got them down, and it really helped us to to strategize and to have an advantage over our teammates because or opponents because our opponents were not communicating nearly as well as we were. So I felt like, oh, Droden going down again. I think he might be out of the game by now. Oh no, Droden, no. All right, let's go up on the roof here. Oh, there's Lady. Come on. Yeah, face shot. All right, lady down. Here we go. This is something. So we're talking to the other team, and they tell us that I believe the only one left. They have one life left and one person left. I'm looking at their spawn. Actually, no. No, never mind. That comes later. This is all hell now. Oh, he killed my buddy. Oh, but I got him. I got him in time. Now there's one person left. The only one left is Stormzix. And he's got to be around here somewhere, right, Stormzix? Or I could be wrong. Maybe they're still alive. I don't know. I forget now. That's okay. I'm just going to organize. Get my potions ready. It's good to have the potion in a very easily accessible slot. Oh, there's Ahelna. Now he's still got a life left. And now he's dead. <laughs> now he's dead. He knew I was up there. Why did you enter the battlefield if you knew I was up there, Ahelna? My goodness. Now, now the one person left is Stormzix. And there he is. He doesn't see me. Oh, now he sees me. Oh, he's shooting at me. I hit him. This is the last, this is for the game. If I can kill him, we win. Oh, that's a win. That is a win. Oh, that is Team Deathmatch, guys. We had a lot of fun playing. I really enjoyed the Team Deathmatch. It's fast-paced, non-stop action. This is the first of many PvP games. We're going to be playing all sorts of games on this map, so let me know. Join the game. We're going to all sorts of things. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.